And good evening, everyone. It's Friday, it's five past seven, and it's the weekend! Yay! Yes! <laughs> Welcome to the Fountain Bridge Show for this Friday night. Well, we're here until eight with lots to get your weekend off to a flying start. Find out what's on their doorstep, what's available, hidden gems that they might not have been aware of, like the independent boutiques, and also all of the, the big retailers that are available for them. So Julie, our founder, um, has a real relationship with Edinburgh. She loves the city and the atmosphere, and she recognises that Scotland's fast becoming more fashion forward and a place to be. I think we expect a great deal, a lot from Edinburgh Fashion Week. There's, there's going to be on, on the mound at the, the launch on the Saturday and Sunday starting tomorrow, there'll be fashion tutorials and workshops, uh, catwalk shows from, from various different retailers. Uh, they, can, they can actually buy the, 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 the goods there and then they can actually buy the clothing there and then, uh, as well as in the rest of the week, they can enjoy 20% um, discount deals across a, a range of stores across the city, as well as more events that are going to take place in other businesses and outlets across the city. something from everyone by the looks of it. And to tell us more, we're delighted to welcome the fashion stylist Laura Russell and Stephanie McLaughlin from Marketing Edinburgh. Now, everything kicks off on the mound tomorrow. What can visitors expect? Well, on Saturday and Sunday, there is a lot of activity in the pop-up marquee. So first of all, we've got a lot of pop-up shops from the key independents, like KOK by K, Covet, um, Sam Brown, and then there's food and drink as well. So there's going to be food. So there's afternoon tea boxes um, by G&V Hotel, Prosecco on tap, which is amazing. Um, and then there's going to be Pickering's Gin and oh, also... Else. Yeah, Menabrea beer, so a lot to drink, a you lot to eat. Me a on that. <laughs> <laughs> now, is it is it just for fashionistas or is it for, for anyone? No, no, it's I think it's for everyone to be honest. It's um a lot of people have been very excited, the fashionistas, but also the people, you know, that are just want to come along, have a good time. Well I'm a fashionista as you can see. <laughs> Obviously. You can so I'm that. I'm very intrigued by this the weekend. Uh, what else is happening, Laura? I mean are there, are there so fashion shows happening throughout as well? Catwalk shows are happening um on Saturday and Sunday and also there's workshops um, I'm doing um, two tutorials tomorrow um, one on the latest trends and what is the latest trends am I on the, trend um, mm. <laughs> <laughs> why are you pausing <laughs> am I on trend mm, no <laughs> you're helping us equal with all of them I think it's okay yeah, the shirt's all right. You can get it's just all right. It's just, just okay. Sort the jeans out. Um, what about the socks tonight, you and I? Why are you asking? Because I've watched many a time and seen that you're wearing white socks, which um... I've got. I've got black tonight. There Yay. you go. I've got black. There, there we go. go. <laughs> got black socks tonight. And Zara's very on trend with her cold. Thanks blue. very much. Right, okay. Yeah, felt like a bit like a baby grow for a while, but I did try and mix it up. <laughs> and Laura, this is the first Edinburgh Fashion Week. You must be yes, excited. Really excited. It's so exciting to sort of get a buzz about fashion and style and things like that into Edinburgh. Being a personal shopper in Edinburgh, it's just great to sort of like have all this going on. So it's really exciting to be involved in it as well. And what are you expecting to to happen with this? This, this week in Edinburgh, do you think it's going to carry on? It yeah, could be a I future so. event? Hopefully. I think everyone has been really behind it. Um, there's been great buzz on social media oh, all yeah. the time. It's just everyone's asking more Exciting. about it. So I think the locals are definitely keen for it to continue. So hopefully it will. Well, great film. Great to see you. And we'll see more Thank of you me. next week. Thank Thanks. you so much, Thank Laura and much. Stephanie. Thanks. Cheers, girls. Thank that was you great. Very much. Have Thank a brilliant you. weekend. Thanks very much. Now, Chef Paul Wedgwood's with us again, cooking our tea for a tenner. What's the plan tonight, Paul? Uh, tonight we're just going to do something really simple with pork and clams, but I've got something a little bit special for you coming up. Oh, no. <laughs> He's a forager. Nightmare. He could be bringing anything in tonight. Thank you, Paul. Much appreciated. Now, there's been a rise in the number of Scots hit by scams in the last year, and here in Edinburgh we've seen people being targeted by something called vishing. Well, there's a new STV series looking into some of their shocking methods. Shortly, we'll be speaking to the show's presenter, Jackie Brambles. But first, take a look at this. For a laugh. They're up for a laugh. They've got some great stories. They're funny. They're game for a laugh as well. So what, it's brilliant. What are you actually asking folk? Um, episode one tonight is, could I go into the streets of Edinburgh and Glasgow and get people to dance with me? 
and um, and I was amazed. There were there, there's girls who tangled with me. I've, I'm grooving with men on the streets of Edinburgh and Glasgow. There's the conga down Princess Street. There's um, Zorba the, the Greek. All that kind. Of, it's brilliant. It's so because much it's fun. It's been a really popular part of the the Fountain Bridge show, hasn't it? People have been in touch saying how much they've enjoyed it. Um, what do you think it is about you that, that people just take to? What is it about you, Ewan? What is it about me? Yeah. It's not about me. You can you can chat to anyone, can't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm about, I love hanging about with people. I love having a <laughs> laugh. It's good fun. And that's what it's about at the end of the day. It's shining a spotlight on the amazing people that live in Scotland. And there's some funny characters. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that tonight. 8.30, STV Edinburgh, chewing the fat. You might see your, your mum, your dad, your granny, your granddad, your pals, your work colleagues. They might be on the telly tonight. And is it as much fun as it looks? Um, honestly, you, you need to watch it to understand how good it is. It's that good. It's Fantastic. good fun. Fantastic. Well, listen, I think you've had enough of a break now. And in case you're forgetting, it's back to work. I think you need I, to go I, through I to like social media. This is good. On you go. Do I have to go? On you go. OK. 8.30 tonight. <laughs> What's he like? Off he goes. Well, it's back to reality for you. And as always, we're dead keen to hear your thoughts on what's going on in and around Edinburgh. So keep the messages, thoughts, opinions, pictures and anything else that you can think of coming in. You can get in touch through Facebook or Twitter or by email at the Fountain Bridge Show at stv.tv. Now, Laurie has been keeping on top of things today and hopefully Ewan's there with her now. Ewan? 8.30 tonight, chewing the fat, STV Edinburgh. <laughs> Just a plug there, Ewan. <laughs> <laughs> right, so um, social media has been a buzz about yes. the new show tonight at 8.30. Yes, uh, But your what, show. Else, what else have we been talking about? <laughs> I've heard the guy's really handsome that hosts it. I, I hear that. Yeah, yeah. You give me that to later, Ewan. Anyway, so Stockbridge has been named as one of the best places to live in Scotland. Stockbridge? Yes, yeah, Stockbridge. In I was there two weeks ago speaking to the people of Stockbridge uh -huh. and what a lot of fun I had. Yeah. Great characters. Great. So a lot of people have responded. Uh -huh. So Facebook, I've got George has got um, in through Facebook. He says it's nice if you can afford it. The normal folk getting priced out. So he's not he's not happy about it. He's a bit upset. He says it's a little bit too expensive for him. Mm -hmm. Claire has got in contact through Facebook. Stockbridge is the best place to stay in Edinburgh. Fantastic to see this ranking. I was in a lovely little gift shop in Stockbridge two weeks ago, and and oh. I can't, I can't tell you that story. It's a story for another day. Over a pint of beer, All so right. much fun. OK. <laughs> There's anyway, a story. Um, moving on. <laughs> and so Adam's got in contact through Facebook as well. He says, it's a beautiful place. The people are always friendly, minus the students. We can't have it all. No, you can. can. You, you, you can. can. You can't have it all. And remember, so. this is your show. And if you'd like to get in contact with us, then how can you do that? So you can do it. So if you want to get in contact with me through social media, you can do so via Twitter, Facebook, or by searching the SCV Edinburgh app. And the email address for the Fountain Bridge Show is Fountain Bridge show at scv.tv what time's the new show tonight your show yeah it's at 8 30. 8 30. Uh, over to zara in the studio still to come tonight Welcome back. There's a local initiative making amazing inroads and bringing together disabled and non-disabled people through new approaches to music based on learning and teaching. Here's a look at some of the work of Drake Music. <laughs> 